come to the press conference. I'll now hand it over to Sips to okay. moderate. Thanks very much, Kazaki. Um, we'll start with question. Oh, good evening, firstly, everyone. I hope your heart rates have finally caught up <laughs> with the rest of your body. Um, we'll start with questions from the floor, and then we'll move on to our Zoom audience. Tabres, um, how do you uh, explain that last couple of minutes of this game? I don't think anyone can explain it, you know. Um, that, that's why we love the sport. Um, I don't think anybody in the stadium could have guessed which way the game was going to go, but um, for me personally... And the team, obviously, we knew the you know the guys that were out there in the middle were capable, and you know thankfully for us they they did the job today. Uh, what do you make of the surface? Uh, you bowled extremely well today. Picked up uh, three wickets. Uh, personally, on your bowling effort and on the pitch. Yeah, I don't think there was much turn in it to be honest. Um, you know, so and it's a, it's a smallish boundary. I think you have to really focus on the the areas that you hit um, and be really hard on yourself on that. And I think. Um, T20 in cricket is a game where you know you need a little bit of luck as well to go your way. Um, on another day, you can bowl the same and, and go for a lot of runs. Um, so I think um, just focusing on, on the right lengths and the right areas to hit, um, that's all I was focusing on. We'll start with, um, we'll move on to our Zoom audience. Um, we'll start with Tienis, followed by Telford, Fedos, and then Nathan. Tienis? Sorry, sorry, I couldn't hear at all. Uh, well done, uh, Tabraz. Um, just want to hear when, when it, when, when the batting sort of goes a bit like that. When you know, it's it's sort of not the the biggest total. You know, obviously, it, it looks like uh, almost par for that for that uh, surface. Um, th does that sort of frustrate you a bit um, as as a bowling unit when you guys really do well to to uh, restrict the team and and the bowling oh, the, the batting sort of looks like it's it, it's not really uh, getting going. No, not at all. I think um, you know all the games that we've played. There's different batsmen that have put their hands up um, and you know taken the team to victory. Um, so far, obviously, we've only lost the one game, uh, which we could have won as well. Um, and I think it's the same from the bowling point of view. Um, there's no need for anybody to be frustrated because um, the big positive is that that we're not relying on one or two guys, um, and that's always. Um, something that you always speak about in a team, you know, it's a joint effort. And from our point of view, we, uh, you know, we're very comfortable um, with the way we're sitting. There's different guys that are that are scoring runs and, and winning games for the team, and it's the same with the ball. Telford? How's it, Tabraz? Very well done. Um, Thank you. I, I just wonder, after a week like you guys have had, and uh, to get over the line in a game like this, and, you know, considering the weight, South Africa have lost games in the past and all of those things. Um, what does it mean, you know, from, from a team point of view to, to, to win a game like this when you absolutely have to and considering the week you've had? Yeah, look, um, you know, the funny thing is I was actually speaking about it to someone um, that, you know, this new team that we have, um, you know, we've won these kind of moments more often than we've lost them. And that, that's a huge positive, um, you know, so that that's like I, like I mentioned a bit earlier, those kind of things you can't you know, say 100% predict which way it's going to go. But you have confidence in the guys that you have in the team, you know, the way um, Timber steered the batting with Aiden and then for, for KG and for David to come and do what they do. Um, you know, that was, that was really nice to see from, from our point of view. It is. Hi, Shamu, well done. Um, Thank you. How are you feeling sitting in the dugout? Uh, we're thinking it might be up to you to go and smash the last few runs. <laughs> if it's up to me, I think there's some issues. Um, but no, obviously, like everybody else, we're really nervous. Um, I'm just happy to be playing cricket. Um, and obviously, I picked up a little bit of a niggle as well before um, before the comp started. So I just want to say a massive thanks to our, our, our medical team as well and the management, the way um, you know they've made made sure that you know we we all ready for games. And so yeah, I'm, I'm just really happy to be out there. Before we move on to Nathan, can you just expand a little bit on the nature of your niggle, just for information's sake? Yeah, just a bit of a groin strain. I think it was reported. Um, so I'm still working with it and still trying, you know, um, our best for the country. Thank you. We'll move on to Nathan. Um, um, Tabraza, firstly, congratulations on the win. I just want to ask, uh, are you happy that uh, Quinn is back in the, in the mix? 
Well, of course, you know, I'm a player of that quality. Everybody would be happy to have someone like that in the team. Um, but anybody that plays, you know, there's 15, 15 players in the squad plus the reserve players. So anybody that's in the 11, um, you know, they're more than capable of winning games for the country. And I think um, on the day, whoever selected um, is, is ready to win games. I think that, that's all that matters. Excuse my pronunciation. Arkum, I hope that's correct. Okay, we'll move on to Ken. Uh, thanks, Sips. Uh, how's it, Tavaz? Well done. Um, okay. Just personally, you seemed really determined today uh, to stamp your mark after a bit of a, a, an off day in the previous game. And just from a team perspective as well, the, the whole team, especially in the field, looked really determined. Um, and there was a lot of passion out there today. Yeah, obviously, you know, we're here to try and win a World Cup for the country. Um, and like I mentioned, um, you know, I'm going to try, personally, try and, and, and contribute as much as I can every game. And my previous game wasn't as, as good as I wanted. Um, and like I've mentioned, you know, just working with a bit of a niggle, um, I really wanted to do something special um, for the bowling unit. But, you know, I've mentioned it enough times that every single guy is doing a job for the team. There's a different guy doing the job for the team every game. Um, and today was my day. You know, Dwayne Pretorius, uh, KG, Anna, uh, Kesh as well. You know, everyone that takes the ball in their hand, um, they're doing a great job, um, you know. So I'm really happy with the way things went personally as well as a team. You know, obviously, um, there's a World Cup to be won. And how can you not be passionate? Um, NMK, uh, please introduce yourself so that we know who you are and where you come from. Hello, Tobridge. Uh, first of all, congratulations on the win. Uh, and I would like to ask, uh, Sri Lanka haven't taken the knee so far in this tournament, just like today, as directed by their board, not to take the knee in support of PLM movement. How do you feel about it as an individual and also as a team? So, I uh, can't hear you. Hello. Am I audible now? Yeah. Yeah. I was just asking, Sri Lanka haven't taken the knee so far in this tournament, just like today, as directed by their cricket board, not to take the knee in support of BLM movement. How do you feel about it, both as an individual and also as a team? I have nothing to say to that. That, that does not do, I mean, it's not a matter for the South African team. Thank you. Uh, we'll move on to the next question. Sorry. Um, Hi, thanks, Pogaz. Um, good evening from that side, Tabrez. Um, just take us to the difficulty of playing in charge. At, in actually, the UAE at the start, you, you were there um, playing IPL cricket, but it's become pretty clear that the wickets have slowed down significantly that's, uh, in that part of the world. Yeah, um, you know, obviously, compared to the previous years, um, Sharjah, I mean, was a ground. Because of the size of the boundaries and, and the wicket being so good, even a score of 200-plus wasn't safe. Um, but from a bowling point of view, it doesn't make things any easier. You know, when you're standing there and you realize that you've got to be on top, uh, you know, on top of your game every single ball you bowl. Um, so as a bowler, it doesn't make things any easier. Um, you know, like I mentioned, we're just trying there and, and, and trying to nail our skills. You know, there's a lot of work that the guys do behind the scenes. There's a lot of analysis and, and you know, game plans that people come up with. Um, and, and, you know, we try and implement that on the day. Zahir? Hi, uh, Tabreza, Zahir here. Just, uh, we've spoken before about that you, your job's not only on the field, it's also off the field. You do a lot of work behind the scenes. Was it, do you have to do a lot more this week in the build-up and, uh, how long can KG talk about that six that he hit today? You're going to allow him to talk about it? No, I think um, the, the work that we do behind the scenes never changes. You know, um, every game is important for us. And, I mean, KG, is, <laughs> it's a joke running around in the team. He's always got the shot of the day, you know, no matter what the situation is. And again, he pulled out a, a special six. So, you know, I, th I think um, there's no need for us to be surprised anymore because he does it so often. And, you know, he puts in a lot of work behind the scenes. So... I'm so happy with the way um, he's batting and, you know, winning games for us with both the ball and the bat. Um, Arkum and then Fedos. Uh, yeah, uh, hi, uh, Tabrez. Um, congratulations today. And um, just one question. Uh, like, 
most people are expecting australia and england as the favorites to play the semis what are your plans regarding this point this popular opinion well our plan is just to try and win every game that we play for south africa um people can have whatever opinions they want um we here for a different challenge you know if we didn't believe that we can win this world cup uh we'd probably be sitting at home and watching on our, on on our television sets um and that's exactly um you know that's not what we here for we here to win the world cup and obviously all the teams in the group are, are very strong and so are we so you know we just have to come in and try and win every game that we play but us and then we'll close off with video i did see your hand Shama, could I just get your comment on Dwayne Pretorius's death bowling? I mean, it seems like he's really come into his own with that this tournament. What sort of things has he been doing behind the scenes? Yeah, I think um, if we had to give the award of scholar of the of the team, it would probably be Dwayne Pretorius. You know, he does so much analysis. He does so much work behind the scenes. You know, he wants to make sure that that he's well prepared, um, and he's come up with his game plans. with our analyst and and the coaching staff. So, you know, I'm I'm really happy that he, that he's getting the rewards and I mean, I think we can't really like, you know, we can't speak enough about the 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 job that he did for us at the end, you know, as you saw that the game was so close and every, you know, it's it, it's so turned out that he's become our death bowling specialist and and so far he's done a great job. Thank you, Vidu. You can close us off. Hi, Samshi. Uh, congratulations. Uh, today, uh, Sri Lankan young batsman Pratham Nisrang had a good knock. Uh, uh, tell us something about his inning and uh, how tough was it to bowling to him? No, really impressive. Um, obviously, uh, I'm not sure of his age, but the way he batted was really mature, and I was really impressed. You know, the the way he controlled the innings. Um, there was a there was a lot of good stuff there. Thank you very much.